Also today, 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 the new holiday catalog. And you pre it's, well, it's pretty good. Sometimes it has a little glare, but it look, it's looking good. Um, it started today and we'll go through January 4th. So everything in here is available today. Open it up and we're gonna make sure that you can see this, but in this bottom left-hand corner, you will notice throughout the catalog that there's this little like uh, film strip and then the Pinterest. Now I wanna point out this film strip. Whenever you see that little thing, it says, look for these video icons throughout the catalog directing you to www.stampinup.com slash holiday, uh, I don't know what you call that, dash videos. This is excellent for the kits. Now, every kit, I believe, has that little video, so they'll go in, go in and watch the video to the kits, and they'll give you not, lots of little tips for the kits. That I think that's a must, 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 if you're going to do the kits. So this first um, grouping here is the new tags, which is right here on page five. You will see it's a um, Oh What Fun tag project kit, and it makes 30 tags, and then this is the coordinating stamp set. And then on this page over here, this is the To You and Your Shaker Card Project Kit. And this makes 18 shaker cards. And you're going to want this stamp set to coordinate with that. Now these two kits, I'm going to show you one from each kit and give you some tips that I came across when I was um, making the projects today. So we're going to start with the shaker card kit. And I'll bring that in. So here it is, and I took it all apart because I did make one. I had to try it out. And this is the stamp set you're going to need. It's the To You and Yours. And because I didn't want to lose all these goodies, I put them inside my stamp set. But here's the stamp set. I'm going to open this up. Everything you need is in this kit except for you are going to need the inks, the stamp set scissors, some adhesive, but everything else should be in here. Here is the finished card that I did today, a little shaker. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous in person. And uh, they even have the card pretty on the back. So if, if you're like me, you could cut that and make that onto another card and then just layer this on a piece of cardstock. Just saying, you would get a lot more cards because this is so pretty. And they did that with all the pieces. So we have, I believe it's, yeah, six different cards, three three different designs, oops, like that. And the front, they're front and back with the pretty. So you could cut them apart and then layer them on another piece of card stack, plain card stack. So there's all your card bases, very gorgeous. This is that shiny, um, almost like metallic. Then you have your envelopes, all your envelopes are in there. These are your die cuts that go on. And then the Joy, Merry, and Bright, which I think are, yes, they are stickers. So you don't have to worry about adhesive on that. These are the circles, these are the stars, whoops. I'm losing my papers here. You're going to use quite a bit of these strips of, um, they're like the dimensionals, but they're in strips. And I'm going to show you how to use those. So you're going to use quite a bit of those. They also give you other languages in the Merry Christmas and that, which I don't know what you're going to do with them. I guess if you know people in other countries that speak that language, then go ahead and use those. Um, we have the window sheets already pre-cut, so that's nice. The card stack, and then we have the three different designs. There's the Christmas tree, the star, and then the circle, which turns into an ornament. Now, I did the tree, 
when I watch the video, they recommend that you start with the tree. So I'm just gonna take one of these here. And the reason for that is you will notice in the tree here, there's some of those sequins. So they said try do the tree first so that you get all your sequins that you need for all your cards because the other the rest of the sequins is going to go into the joy ornament. Now they did recommend that you um, do this kit, try to do it all at once, meaning in the same day, just because that way you can line up like all six of the trees and put your, this is the, um, what do you call that? The, let's see. This is the clear chunky glitter. That way you can pour in and so you're evenly distributing your glitter into your shakers. Does that make sense? I think you know what I'm going for with that. Okay, so we're not going to do the stars. We're going to need the um, Christmas tree. And so what you're going to do is you're going to just peel off. And that is going to match around the die cut tree here. And it actually kind of just falls right into place. Just like that. That easy. Um, I will tell you that the um, baker's twine comes on a spool. And they tell you to um, cut that first, which I highly recommend. Where's my directions? Do you see them anywhere? Directions? It's got a picture of the finished. Hmm. I'm not seeing it. Well, the directions tell you how to cut the um, the baker's twine. And in order to get it cut out evenly, because you need so many of each size, I think you needed, um, I don't know where the directions went. You need one of your pieces of paper? No, it came with the kit. It should have been laying in here with this. But you needed, I think it was 11, you needed 6 11 inches, and you needed 6 21 inches. And I cut the 21 inch pieces first, which I think is a good tip to do. Um, you want to go to this kit? Nope, it's not that one. Nope. Because you will notice on this card right here, you have to tie the string all the way around and through the card and tie it on the front. So that's the one, the ones with the stars, the one you need the 21 inches. So cut those first. The ones that you needed 11 inches, it, if you're like 10 inches, you're probably good because you're just going to tie a bow with it. So you'll have way enough ribbon to tie that. Okay, so since I can't find my directions, I probably left them at the cottage. I need the pot for the tree, the base. I need the Merry Christmas here. And I need the star. And I need some clear blocks. And then the ink colors that it says to use are cucumber crushed, black, and crushed curry. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on and I don't see my foam pad so I'm going to just wing it without the foam pad. Stamped my base. Here's my little star. And then we got the Mary Christmas to you and yours at the bottom. Now to get that straight, if you just put it on your grid paper, 
straight and then put your then it should be straight so that when you stamp it ta-da gorgeous okay so we also need to stamp our little tree here it is this is tree right here and I did this I chose to do the Christmas tree because it, it I will get to the reason why but <laughs> you're gonna need one of the little squares and you're gonna ink up your tree and you're gonna center that best you can on there like that okay so now all our stamping is done So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn this over and we're going to take our fast fuse or adhesive of choice and we're going to go around the tree and then we're going to take our window sheet. These are all pre-cut and we're going to just cover up that tree opening like so. So, so we have our window sheet and then you're going to take these strips and you're going to start placing them around the tree as close to the edge as you can get and make, you want to make sure that you don't have no openings, so we got to go all the way around the tree image. And you'll do the same thing with the star and with the ornament. I love these kits. Thanksgiving, a lot of people get together with family, don't know what to do. Grab one of these kits and everybody can make a card. I am going to cut a little piece that's going to go in here. Perfect. So you want to make sure that you go all the way around. So there's no openings. And I think that little piece I cut off before will fit right in there. Perfect. So we went all the way around our tree. The next thing you're going to do, so we're going to bring this back in and you're going to put your little sequins. Now you're going to need six of these sequins. Two gold, two red, and two green. And that's why you want to start with the Christmas tree and get your sequins all done because you're going to use the sequins in the ornament for the shaker part. So you want to make sure that your trees have enough of the sequence. Now you can either take the two-way glue pen, the lick mono liquid glue, crystal effect, or this is the new fine tip glue pen. And this is awesome, awesome stuff. Oops. I think I might there we go. When this comes off this little point that's in here, when you close it up, you want to make sure that that point slides down inside. Oh, I might have to get my glasses on. There, that point should fit down inside that tube, and then you won't get the um, little globs. It should always stay nice and clean, and I'm just putting little dots. And then I'm going to come in with my C 
few points. Uh, let's see, I'll put that one there. So you're going to want to let this set aside to dry. So I think I would do all six of my trees first and then glue your sequins on there and then let them set aside. Somebody gave you a hint for um, getting your sequins from sticking to your fingers. Tap your embossing bag over your finger. Oh, good tip. Like it. Very nice. Okay, so I have all my little sequins here. And what we want to do is we want to fit that just like that. So what you're going to do now with the ornament and the star, you're going to pour your stuff, whatever your shaker inside here, and you're just going to flip this over the top. But because we have decoration and we want to make sure that we center our tree, what you're going to do is you're going to take the glitter here and we're just going to go down the center. And this is why you want to do all six at once so that we evenly distribute. And then, so do that and then come in and stick your tree over the top. That way if you need to take some from another one, you can do that. Somebody asked if you think they, Stampin' Up! will ever sell those foam strips. Um, we did sell them in a circle at one time. They were the circle shaker cards. Um, I don't think we sell them that way anymore. Oh, I already took that off. All right, so I got all my sticky, yep. And now I just got to center my tree like so. And there we got our shaker, cool, cool. Flip it over. These dimensionals do come with it. You're going to put one in each corner, like so. And then our base is this pretty right here. Fold it in half on the score line. Take those papers off there. These do go really, really quick and easy. I would say I struggled mostly with cutting out, cutting the um, baker's twine so it came out. I had a time getting it to come out right. So I would recommend that you cut your 21 inches first and then your 11, save for these cards that you just got to tie a bow. So you basically just tie a bow however big you want it. And then... I don't see my glue dots, so I'll just take this. And I got my bow. I'm going to stick that right there. Glue dots are handier. There we go. And then just trim. Oops, that's not the right tree. That's not my ribbon scissors. Then you just trim the ends. And there you go. There's your shaker. Very cute. Cute, cute, cute. I really like this kit a lot. So here's your stars that will go with the star shaker on the outside front. And then your stars for the inside shaker. And then your sequence will be for the um, joy card. So that is a little taste of how that kit goes together. Very simple, very easy. I don't think you should have any trouble with that one. Let me just clean this out of my way. And then I'm going to show you the tag kit. Oops. Okay, so that's our shaker cards, which were on page four. 
Now I'm going to show you um, the tags. Really nice tags. You're going to need Garden Green, Real Red, and Mint Macaroon inks. You're going to need the stamp set. And I think I already did take out what I needed out of there. And you know what? Don't throw them paper pumpkin boxes away because there's lots of things you can do with it. For instance, I put the tag kit in here because I had punched out a bunch of the pieces. So everything is in here. So if I wanted to um, make a few tags, put it away for a while, I can put everything in my box. So I have the ink pad in there, the stamps that I'm going to use tonight are already on the block. It's little foil doilies. We got these cute, cute gold bows, some more sequins, a foil snowflake, the glimmer red snowflake. I don't know what the, oh, those look like banners, bells, more punched pieces. So here, now I can, this is for the tag. I don't know what happened to my shaker card instructions, but you get instructions with your kit. So don't worry, you do get instructions. Um, this kit makes 30 tags. So here we go. And then there's instructions and there's the different tags. You are going to make, uh, let me see, how many tags each? Does it? say 10 designs, three of each. So you're going to make three of each, 10 different designs for 30 tags. Now it tells you, here's some tips for you. It gives you real red baker's twine. Right here, real red baker's twine. And the instructions say, cut thick real red baker's twine into 12 equal pieces. Okay, so I had this really long piece, and I was supposed to cut it into 12 equal pieces. Well, when I was done, I did not have 12 equal pieces. So I figured it out. You need to cut this at 8 and a half inches, and then you will have 12 equal pieces. So remember that. Baker's twine, the red, to get 12 equal pieces, you need 8 and a half inches. They did the same thing with the garden green baker's twine. They said, cut the twine into 12 equal pieces. You will cut that baker's twine six inches. So you're going to have 12 pieces, six inches long. Then they said, cut the white baker's twine into six equal pieces. So I figured that out as well. And that is 12 and a half inches. So 12 and a half inches will give you the six pieces of the Whisper White Baker's Twine. Then they had the Mint Macaroon Ribbon and they said cut that three pieces six inches. Well I didn't listen and I cut six pieces three inches. <laughs> so I will be using my spool I think maybe of my Mint Macaroon Lace uh, Ribbon. So they did tell you three, in three pieces six inches long. Somebody said, did you know that you can unhook the inner pieces inside the paper pumpkin boxes and turn them inside out ready for mailing? I think I heard you say that one time. Do what now? Did you know that you can unhook the inner pieces inside the paper pumpkin boxes and turn them inside out ready for mailing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You undo it this way, and so then it, you, it's the brown. Cool, cool. Okay, so I did assemble some of these already just to show you. They go together really quick and easy. And make sure that on the back side you do your to and from. And basically when I punched them out, I punched the whole stack to once. They punch out really easy. So you're just going to punch out all your pieces. Great way to do tags. So I don't know, you can keep them if you like, but they're going in my garbage. All right, so I'm going to make 
this tag right here for you. So I'm going to show you just how quick and easy it is to make these tags. So it looks like I need this piece right here. Looks like I need this little piece right here. And I need this cute little piece right there. And then I need one of my pretty gold glitter snowflakes. Boy, them things are big. And be careful because I just broke that one. <laughs> so they are a little bit flimsy. But I will glue that on there and you'll never know it. So you, uh, you will need either the um, fine tip glue, the mono glue, crystal effects works really good at gluing the um, the bows or like this type stuff. All right, so I will take all this. I don't need that stuff for now. Here's a couple more tags that I did. They go together really quick, really quick and easy. Looks like I need the ho ho, ho ho red here. And I'm going to stamp that on this tag, like so. That's all my stamping. Got to make sure I write my to from or stamp my to from on the back. To. From. You could easily do this kit with your kids. I think that would be a lot of fun. They would enjoy that. I'm going to just take a little bit of adhesive here. And that's going to go, oops, wrong side on the front. Just match that hole up. I'm going to take some of my green garden green baker's twine and to get the you want to take the loop end and bring it from the front to the back and then just put those two ends in there like that so that's how you want to do your little tail there now all I have to do is glue this poor little thing I'm going to use the new glue even though I really don't need fine detail This is great for those wood neutral elements. And then I will fix my little one here. There. And then all I have to do is attach my ho ho down the center. See, nobody will know. Gorgeous, beautiful. Give these tags a try, though. They're a lot of fun, really quick and easy. And like I said, you can do it on Thanksgiving with your family, with the kids. Gives everybody something to do, and it's a lot of fun. But there you go. There's your tags. Now, on this tag here, um, the actual stamp is right here. It stamps all this. So when you're stamping on that banner, you want to stamp just that. So that's the beauty of the photopolymer, as you can see right through it. So those are the tags. Fun, fun. I get this one needs a little dry in time, so I've got to be careful of that one. Okay, back to the catalog. That was our stamping intermission. All right. This kit here, um, I watched the video on it. You do need to watch your placement of the petals. And on the video, they do instruct how to get your placement of those. Uh, it's like leaves that you put around on that, um, that wreath. So you're going to, I would see the little thing here. That means you 
it has a video. I would definitely watch that video before you start assembling that. This witch's hat, so cute. So, so cute. Have not made it yet, but I did watch the video on it. Um, very cute. And like I said, the video, they do give you some really nice tips on that. So here we have the You Can Make It, and they kind of give you the different uh, products that were used to make the samples. And then there's also the little Pinterest. That means if you go to Pinterest, they have lots more ideas out there for you. I don't know if I said that in the beginning. It's visit www.pinterest.com slash stampin' up to see more project ideas. So they do an excellent job in the catalog with all the samples. Um, I can show you a couple things on this page here. The new Christmas. I love all the stuff. But here is the um, emerald dots, or enamel dots, not emerald. They look like emerald. But these are the Home for Christmas. You get two of these in the pack. Very pretty. And they are colored. And the colors are Mossy Meadow, Real Red, and Very Vanilla. So you have a, um, three, this size and then the bigger size. And I have used that on a project already. And then this new Very Vanilla Subtle Striped Satin Ribbon right here. Very pretty ribbon. I don't know if you can see, but it's very pretty. And that is, the width on that is one and a quarter inches. So it's a nice width. Going on, don't forget the bundles and saves. We have the bundle and save here. You get the um, Best of Fireplace stamp set with the um, coordinating framelits dies. And then this is a very popular uh, bundle over here. It's the Hearth and Home Thinlets dies. Um, it makes the window, and then this stamp set is coordinates with it so that you can see the scenery out the window. Very cool. I've seen some awesome cards done with that. Now, here's the little circles. We'll give you some hints and tips. It says, create a snowy scene and card front using dazzling diamonds, stamp and glitter, and a window sheet. So they actually put a window sheet behind the cutout here, kind of like we just did with our shaker card, and put some um, plain stamp and glitter behind there. So very cool. This set here is another one that has been um, people that are coming to my Christmas card class are saying we want to do a card with this. It's the sleigh ride edgeless dies, and it's coordinating with the jingle all the way. So don't forget those bundles. Do not um, miss out on those bundles. And this one does have a video, so you can get some tips on that. And then we have the Winter Wishes, more of the You Can Make It. And here it says the Sleigh Ride Edgelets dies are designed to work together. Combine them, flip them, and switch them around to make your own custom scene. So you can use more than one of these edgelets together. You'll notice on this card here, they used a couple different, going different directions. So don't be afraid to layer it up. Very nice. Here's a couple more things. Um, this is the new precision plate. It is for the intricate dies, meaning it is for, where did it go? By intricate, It's these ones with all the detail inside. This is a framelit because it just frames a stamped image. There's nothing inside. These with the detail are a thinlet. So that is the difference. Thinlet, framelit. The precision plate is only recommended to be, this is the precision plate. It's only recommended that you use the um, detailed dies on that. Just like uh, the ornaments on that they're showing, these detailed ones, you want to use the precision plate. The outline ornaments like this, which is a framelit, use your regular um, magnetic platform. 
So I'm going to use the precision plate to show you how to die cut um, using this new plate. So what you're going to do is you're going to, I'm going to get the big shot. Bring that big shot in here. And then what you're going to need is the base and you're going to need it closed. So you want all the tabs closed, you want it completely flat. Then you are going to use your precision plate. Now you want, this is not the cutting surface. Cutting surface goes down. Then you're going to put your cardstock on. And when you cut on this precision plate, each time you cut, you want to turn it so you're not cutting in the same area. So I cut the butterflies out on this side, so now I'm going to move them up to here. And then you just need a plate for the top. And then you're going to wheel that through there. Now, I think they did recommend that you go through and then go back again. Now, I didn't do that with these, and I really didn't have a hard time um, getting anything punched out. But you'll see they come out slick as a whistle. Whoops. And then all you need to do is just take your um, paper piercer and push all those little things out. Now, I will say I have done the magnetic platform with um, the dryer sheet with these and the wax paper. And I would say the precision plate works just as well as the um, dryer sheet and wax paper. Although with the dryer sheet, a lot of times I don't have to punch out all those little things. But if you're going to and you don't have a dryer sheet with you or wax paper, then the precision plate will come in very handy. So that is your precision plate. Remember when you use it that you want to keep flipping. I bring it back in here. You want to keep changing the position where you die cut because it is actually cutting into the pad. And you also want to make sure that you flip your plates to keep them as flat as possible. They did say that if you use these on the precision plate, you, you could um, wreck them. They will bend them over time. So just stick with your detailed for the precision plate. So that is my tips for you on that precision plate. What is the, let's see, we've got a question. Okay. What is the embossing folder used for background on the card with two ornaments on it? Looks like little dots. Okay, good. I'm going to show you, actually show you that because, let's see, where is that? It's on page. It is very hard to see in the catalog. They did not pick a very good way of them showing it. It's on page 24 at the very top. You cannot even see what it was. It just says softly falling textured impressions embossing folder. And that's what this dotted is here. And here is the folder. Now I'm going to run that through it with a piece of, uh, this is um, four and a quarter by five and a half. So whole front card. I'm going to place that in there. See, that's kind of what this tonight is all about, is to show you the different things, um, give you the tips to use. But we're going to bring this back in. I'm going to open this up. Looks now, like you're demonstrating quite a bit of stuff, actually. This is a bigger than normal folder, so you want to make sure it's within the range of your platform. And I do need a plate underneath. Plate on top. So be careful with them because I had my older son help me cut for a class the other night and he busted mine up because he wasn't watching and it caught. But that's what you get with hired help, right? So, okay, I'm going to run this through, make sure my plate is plastic folder is within my cutting here.
It really is a pretty folder. Get this out of the way. So you could probably see it better now. Yes. All the little dots. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's kind of glary, but oh, is it? oh, wait, no, never mind. I was looking at the wrong thing. All yeah, right. Good. I see a lot of that. Yeah. Very cool. Texture, um, framelit on there. Now, where did my catalog go? There it is. Now I closed it so I could see where we're at. Okay. I did feature this particular stamp set on my blog today, and I did do a video, and I'm going to get to that folder as well. But I really, this set is gorgeous with the coordinating framelits. Remember, it is in a bundle, so if you're going to get it, make sure you get it in the bundle. Here's another bundle. It's hard to see it's a bundle because you have the stamp set on this page, and then the framelits are over here, and here's the bundle price. So don't miss out like I did and get the stamp set and not miss out on this framelits over here, the coordinating framelits. I totally missed this whole page in my catalog when I placed an order. So I do not have this cool punch to show you tonight. Um, I did try it out at convention this summer. It's very cool. It does three different punches. Um, so I'm sorry, but I can't show you any of that. I do have the black archival uh, stamp pad. I used it on our tree. I got that set when I went to convention. Otherwise, because I missed it in here, I haven't gotten it yet. I put it on my order today, though. Um, but it does, it stamps really, really nice. So you're going to want that black and that basic gray archival um, ink pads. And then don't forget the reinkers. This is a really cute set, too, if you're into water coloring or coloring. Very cute. They have some really gorgeous, gorgeous Christmas uh, sets in this catalog. I love it. This does coordinate with our existing uh, reef framelits. So those do have framelits that coordinate with them. For, they're in the big catalog, so don't miss out on that. It tells you right here. Um, it says trim, one and a quarter burlap ribbon into a narrow strip for a new look on the cards. So this is, actually, that's the surging edge I always cut off when I fray my burlap ribbon. So Somebody asked how, how, to clean, how to clean stamps. How to clean the stamps? I use the stamp and mess and the stamp and scrub. And remember when you use black, like here I use the black, it is always going to have that black on, especially with the photopolymer. The... Uh, a regular red rubber, it does clean off much nicer on that than it does on the photopolymer. Photopolymer is a little bugger when it comes to clean, to get it clean, clean. Um, but just the Stampin' Mist. Do not use uh, the stays on cleaner on the photopolymer. That will That is not good for your photopolymer. She asked again, she added, but she said with the new black. With the new black. Um, just I just use the Stampin' um the stamp and miss and stamp and scrub. And like I said, if you use it with the red rubber, it comes off much nicer than it does on the photopolymer. Um, let's see, this tree here is a big hit. Like it. We have uh, this Winter Wonderland specialty designer series paper. It's in the black, gold, and whisper white. And then we have this vellum which I will show you. If I can open it. I haven't even... Memento well on the yes, Memento ink does work really nice on the photopolymer. This is the foil. Oh, I like, I like. Ooh, do you see that? The gold um, snowflakes. There, ooh, this is pretty too. Look at that. Oh, you're going to be seeing some projects for me with this. Very pretty. I like it. Look at this. Gorgeous. Ooh, the black snowflakes. 
Okay, I am open to suggestions what to do with those antlers. I have not a clue. Not yeah. a clue. Yeah, they're just antlers, but they really don't, I don't Does know. Have a deer or something no. And I don't know. There, somebody put, there's a little frog set, and somebody put them on the frog and said it was a horny toad. I don't know. <laughs> I am open to suggestions for, this is gorgeous, for those say, antlers. Let's see some comments. We need ideas. Yeah. The wood um, snowflakes, gorgeous. I can see sponging these with inks. I can see painting them with uh, the dazzling details after you've um, inked them with the ink pads. Very cool. I like all the different sizes. I like them neutral or natural like that, but I, I think they're going to be really pretty um, inked up as well. Let's see. Move along. i got to keep going. Um, I do really like the cording. I have the silver. I ordered the gold today. I do love the cording. The um, iced rhinestone embellishments I ordered, but I don't have. Here's another bundle. It's a punch this time. It's not framelit. It's a punch. So you can get your, your bundles with framelits or punches. It coordinates with this snowflake set here. A couple things I missed. Um, is the new red foil. Do you know how we have the gold and the silver foil? They have the red foil and they used it with the um, intricate ornaments there. They embellished ornaments. Um, gorgeous. I ordered that today. The real red envelope paper. Nice. I can see. Very nice. I love, love, love inside, outside sayings for cards. That's a great set there. Um, some more Christmas. This is a designer series paper stack. It's the six by six stack, which I don't have, but I did order it. The reindeer clips. This the reindeer clips are actually on the um, expected back order list. So if you really like the reindeer clips, they expect those to go like hotcakes. This is the new um, gold and white glitter ribbon. So I haven't seen it yet in person. I'm trying to find the end so I can unravel it. Here's the end. Ooh, that's nice. It's different feeling than what I thought it was going to be. Somebody said they put the horns on the penguin and the snowflake. Uh, oh, there you go. I just want to see how this would. You got to turn your ribbon because you got glitter. It's a little difficult to tie a bow, but I do like it. And the gold is very pretty as well. So that is the glitter ribbon. And the glitter really doesn't come off, so that's nice. Okay, this stamp set, gorgeous, comes with this um, embossing folder. This is a bundle. Bundle, remember? I will show you this folder here. It is four and a half by six and three sixteenths. I showed this folder on my blog today. Um, I showed you how to make it to, for a 4x4 four four card, which is right here. And I showed you how to get the detail going all the way around. So if you missed that video today on my blog, you're going to want to go check that out. This folder, this is the, a full-size card front, which is 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. If I place that in here, you can see I'm cutting off the bottom piece, the bottom of the, my... Um, decoration that goes around the outside edge. I don't know why they made it bigger. If you center your cardstock in here, you're still cutting off half your point set of here and half up here. I don't know their reasoning for that because no matter how you place that in there, you're going to end up cutting something off. So I did a video on how to make it 4 by 4 so check that out. And next week, 
uh, Tuesday for my Tuesday tips and technique. I'm going to show you how to make it go all the way around. It'll fit all the way around on a regular card front. So I figured it out and it is doable. So check that out next week Tuesday on my blog. But it is a gorgeous um, framelit. It's a gorgeous stamp set. This one here is the new Poinsettia Punch. And that does coordinate. It's in a bundle with this right here. So these little sprigs here are the veins of the leaves. They don't punch, they don't stamp in that shape. The shape is your punch right here. So they stamp the veins and then you come in and you punch it out. And then um, so this punch works with the leaves here or yeah, you can make them into leaves or you can make them into a 3D um, poinsettia. Change the color up. It can be a lot of different other flowers. I was going to try to assemble one for you, um, but we're running low on time here, so I won't bother you with that. Um, look at the video. Watch the video. It's a great video. She goes step by step. She does a great job with that, but don't forget that is in a bundle. We have our fancy foil here that's gorgeous. Our new um, ribbon, we have the red and the garden green, and that's pretty ribbon. I, I We use that at conventions. And then the stamp set here. This snowman people here is in a bundle, so don't forget that. you got your coordinating framelits. I have to go back to my order because I have the framelits, but I don't have the stamp set. So either I did not see the bundle, or I never got the stamp set. I don't know. I got to go check that out. <laughs> but I do have the little framelits. Um, another stamp set. Here's another bundle. It's the whole Holly Jolly Christmas stamp set and the Christmas greetings thinlets die. So you get the, the greetings, the merry jolly and peace. And it with, coordinates with the stamp set here. So another bundle. This catalog is full of bundles. So make sure that you don't miss the bundles. The, the prepaid paper pumpkin, I talked about that at the last live event. Love the paper pumpkins. The Project Life, if you are a scrapbooker, love the Project Life. It's just a slip into your pockets. They do have um, ideas and that on Pinterest, so check that out. Uh, more Project Life, and they have a bundle with that as well. So don't miss out on that Project Life bundle. What I like is the seasonal snapshot. They had the same name last year, but these are all new. It's just the same name, but different images, different stamp set. And I made it into cards. I did. I started from um, first day of school, and then we did Halloween, and then Thanksgiving, and then Christmas. All different cards. I forget how many we came up with, but love that. Here's another fun bundle. You get the Among the Branches, and then this cool. I know you've seen this. It's trees and it isn't a big one so you can do a big spread of it and it, you can highlight the trees by inking them. Um, you can draw on them with a white gel pen. You can brayer your folders. So there's lots of ways to do use those tree images and then it does coordinate with that stamp set. So that is another bundle. It says lightly add color to emboss trees using sponge dauber and use the Among the Branches stamp set. So like for the little eyes, you can use the little eyes in between and the, the black bird things. I don't know what they call them, birds. We are just about done, I think. Um, another bundle coordinates with this right here, so don't, don't forget your bundles. Here's another bundle. It's our new pillow box. So it's a square pillow box. So it's a little bigger than the one we used to sell. Um, it's more square shape. And that is in a bundle and that is in a video. So make sure you check that out. The Thankful Forest Friends. Really cute set. I love this new Into the Woods designer series paper. This paper is part of my featured stamp set for the month of September. And these little wood pieces here, super cute right there. Again, use your ink, uh, your ink pads, your sponges, um, 
spritzers. You can color those. Very cool. And then the fine tip glue, which I showed you, that's right here. This ribbon here is another one that they expect will go back order because it is a hot commodity. It is the Rich Razzleberry um, 3 8 inch cotton ribbon. This stamp set here does have coordinating leaflets. They're in the big catalog. So the leaflet frameless dies from the big catalog coordinate with this stamp set. It is not in a bundle, but we do have framelits that coordinate with it. This cute, cute, cute set here with the bundle, you, the bundle is the punch and the stamp set. You're going to save 15%. So if you bought them separately, it would be $33. But if you buy it in the bundle, it's $28. So basically, you're getting that stamp set for $10 because it's $5 bucks off. So this right here is my featured stamp set for the month of September. Yay! So it's the stamp set, the punch, so the bundle, and then I use this Into the Woods Designer Series paper. So do you want to see the project or are you going to wait till tomorrow's blog post? Do you want to see a little sneak peek of it? I can show you. You're the first to see it. First, first, first. So here is the punch. Very cool. Here is the, a corny stamp set, or a corny thank you. And then here's the paper pack. It's got some gorgeous prints in it, which I'll be using throughout the month of September. You can see I got some acorns already stamped and punched in there because I've been playing with the different projects. One thing when you do place a minimum 40 dollar order, online order with me, you're going to get the PDF file and the video for the project I'm going to show you. And then every week you're going to get another card sample using this whole bundle of stuff. I, the PDF file, if I do a video, you're going to get that. So you, all month long you're getting stuff from me just by placing a minimum $40 order. Somebody so, asked if the paper pumpkins are still half off. The paper pumpkins till September 10. So yes, they are. You have till September 10 to get the half up. Isn't this cute? This is adorable. So you're going to get the PDF file in the video on how to make this cute box. And then inside are these adorable, cute cards. There's four in here. And this one's an easel. And this one here is a twisted easel. So you're going to get the four cards. Plus, you're going to make the envelopes. I have the directions. I have the video on how to make the four envelopes for these. These are four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And they fit so nice inside there. Great gift for teachers. School just started um, for a lot today. Um, my son starts next week. But that is going to be on my blog tomorrow. That is the featured stamp set for September. It's the bundle here and then that featured um, 12 by 12 into the woods designer series paper. Love it. So cute. So cute. Okay. Into Halloween. Cute. This coordinates with the uh, note tag punch that sold in the big catalog. So don't forget. Um, it's nice when we have coordinating pieces like that. Uh, designer series paper. These um, Spiderweb doilies. You get 24 black doilies for $4.50, but I'm going to show you something. I'm going to get one out of here. Very pretty, very intricate. If you don't want the spider web, you're going to use it for something else, cut off the web part, and you got cute right in here. Flip it over, and it's white. Take a spritzer, take your sponge daubers marker, you can color different and make it different colors. So you could use that on other projects besides Halloween. So multi-purpose here. Now don't just think, okay, black spider web. This does not look spider webby to me. You can take your little scissors and snip, 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 um, flip them over, color them with the spritzer and the alcohol with the re-inkers inside, or take a just sponge dauber and sponge ink. Lots you can do with those. Lots, lots, lots. 
Don't forget the black glimmer paper. I forgot and I put it on my order today, but that is gorgeous. I love that glimmer paper. Some more cute, cute stamp sets. This one, another bundle. You have your um, stamped images with your framelits, so don't forget bundle. Just go through your catalog and, mark, and put an X on those bundles. Bundles, bundles, bundles. These are your hostess exclusives. So if you host a workshop or you attend a club, I do have a card club. I'm still looking for members. So if you want details on that, email me and I will send you that. We are doing a live club. Um, so one of the months you will be hostess. So you could get the um, exclusive stamp sets that are in here or in the big catalog. But that is our catalog. Love it. Love it. This is made with that um, poinsettia punch. Isn't that gorgeous? Just more layers. And then look at the intricate um, ornaments. So cute. So much in this catalog. Oh my gosh. Always thinking of something to do with it. But that is um, our walk through the holiday catalog. I hope I gave you some tips and ideas and that um, you found it very helpful and you have your order started, but um, that is it for tonight. And I want to tell you our, our next time we are meeting, I had planned on the 17th, but Bill just told me tonight that he is going to be out of town. And since he is my cameraman, he desperately, Operator. Desperately needs me. Uh, I cannot do it on the 17th. So, what date did I give you? It's the last here, Tuesday. I'll pop it up here. I think I got it here. It's the last Tuesday of September. So, I think it's like Tuesday, September, I want to say 29. Um, so, join me then. I'm not sure what we're going to do, but we're going to do something from this great catalog. I love it. So that is it for tonight. I, like I said, the video will go up on YouTube, so you can go back and watch it later if you missed something. But uh, that's it for tonight. I appreciate you stopping by, and um, I will look at the computer. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Otherwise, we'll sign off for tonight. Thanks so much for stopping by.